Folks, what's up? My name is Steven. I'm gonna tell you in this video what design temperature is and why you care, okay? So first, let me talk about something that you've already experienced. You know how when you get those, like, um, those wipes, like those wet wipes, and they say, these wet wipes kill 99.999% of bacteria, right? Basically almost all of it, but not all of it, right? Almost all of it, but not 100%, okay? It's like we've covered the vast majority of the bases, but not all the bases. We've covered the majority of the circumstances, but not all the circumstances, okay? That idea relates to what I'm about to talk about, which is design temperature. So, I live in Madison, Wisconsin. The design temperature here is like either negative five or negative six. What that means is that 99% of the year, the temperature is at or warmer than negative five degrees or negative six degrees, whatever it is, okay? It's at that temperature or warmer. Why do they do that? Because there's bound to be some sort of outlier, like, oh my God, on one day it was like negative 70, all right? We are not designing HVAC equipment for that crazy one day of the year when it's like negative 80. We are designing for the bulk of the time when it's at the design temperature or warmer, okay? So in your zip code, in your state, in your city, in your country, there is a design temperature. There's a design temperature for, for heating when it gets cold in the winter, and there's a design temperature for cooling when it gets hot in the summer, okay? So what we're saying is that at that temperature, 99% of the year, it's at that temperature or warmer for heating, or it's at that temperature or cooler for uh, the air conditioning season, for the summer season, okay? Why don't we cover the whole year? Because, like I just said, you get those outlier years when, or those outlier days when, like, this is an anomaly, this is a random event, this is unexpected, it's unordinary. We don't design for that. It's like when people, when engineers build a road, right, and they and they put a curve in the road, and they say, you know, you need to go at 45, right? There might be some odd circumstance when. You know, someone, like, they can't build the absolute perfect road. That's what I'm saying, okay? They can build the road that, you know, 99, 95% of the time, everyone's going to be fine. But that 1% of the time, it might be unsafe. But we're, we are not designing for every circumstance. So on that one day, when it's super cold or super warm, you might be a little uncomfortable. Folks, let's deal, okay? All right, so that's, so design temperature is the temperature at which 99% of the time it's going to be warmer than that day for the, or 99% of the time it's going to be cooler than, than that day. And there's a design temperature for every city location that there is in this world, okay? Now, when you size HVAC equipment, like a furnace or an air conditioner or a heat pump, you use that design temperature. So basically, at the, at the design temperature for Madison, Wisconsin, which is where I'm at, at that temperature, I need, my house needs 23,000 heat units, or 23 BTUs, okay? My, my house needs 23 units of heat at the design temperature. So that means that my HVAC equipment, my furnace is sized for that one day when it gets really, really, really cold, that's when my furnace is designed for. It's like at that temperature on that day during those hours is when my furnace will be correctly sized. On all the other days, on 98% of the other days, my furnace will be oversized. So we are, we are designing our furnaces, our heat pumps, our air conditioners for that one time when it's super cold or super hot. So most of the time, like the vast majority of the time, your furnace or heat pump or air conditioner is oversized. Crazy, right? 